Hello people. Well, it's been a while since you've seen me. I've had a, uh, a big major medical operation. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But at the beginning of the video, I'm going to talk about this. I made a flashlight. Special flashlight. It has a crank. So you can crank it with your hands and recharge it if you need to. It also has two 5.5 volt solar cells. Uh, it was supposed to be 6 volt solar cells, but the people that I bought it from sent me 5.5 volt solar cells because each of these solar cells only has 11 panels instead of 12 panels. 12 panels would have been 6 volts. These are 5.5 volts. Anyways, so. Ooh, it seems like. Something crazy is happening with my YouTube. Okay. Alright. Anyways. This light that I have on right now is just a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, night light. I like to sleep sometimes with the light on. And so uh, this is a little LED light that's uh, taking less than 10 milliamps. Uh, the major LED light is this one right here I don't know how many watts it's taking or how many milliamps it's taking I just stuck a bunch of resistors together and it doesn't get too hot but uh, a better bigger brighter light would have been better uh, so it charges off of uh, a light or uh, a solar cells charges off of uh, that thing I can also take it and plug it in to a 5 volt thing there we go here I'll turn off the main light the secondary light see that little red light right there that shows that we're charging how much uh, average are we charging at we're charging at 240 milliamps so Okay, so we can charge this with the uh, uh, the hand crank, spinning it about two revolutions per second. Charge it with solar cells, and we can charge it with uh, a five volt input. It has a little night light, which is something special for me. Most people probably wouldn't like that, but it has a regular large light, which. Uh, is a good thing for everybody but I also have this little thing on here it seems to me that if you have a 3.7 volt battery like this big red one I have here an 18650 if you have a 3.7 volt battery then you might as well also have one of these things which is a USB output and it can charge other things okay so it's uh being charged right now off the of usb input at uh 190 milliamps right now so i'm going to unplug this and then i'm going to unplug this and i'm going to plug this into that hold on okay now I'm going to turn it on, there we go, well this is just to show that uh, it uh, actually is drawing power, that uh, you know it's giving power. So to me if you have a 3.7 volt battery and a way to charge that 3.7 volt battery, well you might as well have a way to be able to output power, a way to be able to output 5 volts and be able to charge something else off of your battery. So if you have a flashlight that has a rechargeable battery, then you ought to be able to charge other things off of your battery. And if you're able to charge your system with a hand crank or solar cells or a 5 volt input, then that's all that much better. Alright? Okay. Alright, <clears throat> on to the second section of this. I, uh... 
this is the first thing that I've made since um, I've been out of the hospital. I went into the hospital on uh, December 30, 30th, not the 31st, the 30th or whatever. And uh, I was stayed there for like uh, 10 days. Turned out that I had, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, pancreatitis? I think it was called pancreatitis. Uh, my pancreas, my uh, gallbladder was uh, jammed up with stuff. They said they don't really know exactly what makes uh, your gallbladder jam up with stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, they had to put a tube into my gallbladder to let it uh, discharge fluid. So I had a drain hole that uh, had a tube sticking out of it, out of the uh, right hand side of my chest, left hand side of my chest, right hand, my right hand side. And um, so uh, that was interesting. I couldn't sleep on my right hand side for a month, which is kind of annoying because I sleep best on my right hand side. And anyways, uh, uh, they ended up uh, taking out my gallbladder and it, uh, this whole experience ended up making me, um, whatchamacallit, uh, whatchamacallit, 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 uh, diabetic, ended up making me diabetic, temporarily diabetic. But, although I've been told that I've been uh, close to diabetic before already. Anyways, alright, so that was probably a minute, maybe a minute and a half worth of uh, BS. It's not BS, that all actually happened. But, uh, the reason why I named this video Toy, T-O-Y, is to try to not uh, get very much attention to it. I want to be able to so showcase my uh, inventions. I want some people to see and some other people to not see. Some people will come in here and watch this video and say, hey, wow, that's a really neat uh, flashlight, Kyle. If I was going to uh, copy that, <laughs> then uh, there's nothing really remarkable or spectacular out of the ordinary to uh, be able to copy there, Kyle. So I'm not going to copy that. Oh, well, now you're talking about your stupid diabetic problems or whatever holes that they drilled into your body to be able to extract your gallbladder. Anyways, for those of you that actually stayed and watched the rest of the video, uh, I have...